Hey guys, so recently I made a Kung Fu Master, so I figured maybe I'd bring you guys along the journey for uh, leveling. Maybe have some fun, and hopefully you guys will enjoy these videos. So, you know, let's get to questing. So, right now we gotta meet Do Chin, so we're gonna meet with him. And now we gotta beat up some guys. I gotta admit, I've done these quests a lot of times recently, so I might get a little bored, but... Hopefully you guys will keep me entertained. So, all right, gotta go rescue someone. Where is he at? Just, just chilling with this guy in my hands. <laughs> Look at his face. It's legit. All right, gonna go drop this guy off. And one of my friends bonded on, so just ignore that. And let's turn in this quest. So, the reason why I started a Kung Fu Master, basically I just wanted to um, play a class that's like really, really strong in PvP and kind of like a tank class. So, here this would be the one to go. Ooh, gave me some Dublins, level sits. Leveling it up fast. Alright. Looks like we got uh what do we got to do next? Treat the map. Alright. Yeah, overall just Kung Fu Master looks like a fun class. I don't really I always have pretty good ping in this game, so I'm not really worried about playing them, because that's really the only issue with them is they're very ping reliant. So, um, should be good with that. I'm gonna jump to this guy. Slap him around. What's this move? Oh, your Z. I'm pretty, pretty sure your Z, you can change it to like an iframe because I've seen Kung Fu Masters use it like as an iframe, so, in like PvP, so I'm pretty sure that's an iframe later on. Alright. I'm gonna get that. And let's get out of combat, and then we'll head down there. I always like this area in the story, but I feel like it should have been a little bit longer. Like, literally, you just pick up a map, and then you go kill that one guy, and then you're out of here. And it was a little fast for me. I actually really like this zone, but it's my personal thoughts. Alright. see if we can talk to this dude. Oh, nope, no, we're going to have to fight real quick. Oh, can't see my character. Hey, okay. Kill this guy real quick. Oh, yeah, I killed. Wait, what? They just responded? Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay. They literally just responded. <laughs> Alright. And what? He just responded too. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. These guys are coming out of nowhere. I guess I killed them too fast. I guess you have to kill them. I guess you're supposed to talk to that guy first and then kill them, but I accidentally killed them first, so. <laughs> this came back out of nowhere. It scared me. Alright. Fire the, the young cannon. And then we gotta fight this guy. He's gonna pop out of nowhere. Where is he at? Ah, there he is. He's pissed because, you know, we just blew up his freaking ship, so he's probably not too happy. Oh, crap. Holy crap, he's dodging all my shit. Let's keep spamming buttons. Hey, okay. Done with that. And blah blah, destroyed the ship. Won the battle. Now we got wind strike. So that was a quick little area. Uh, but yeah, Kung Fu Master seems like a pretty fun class. I don't really have any class. Like when I make old characters, I always try to make an old character that's unique. Like my main class is Blade Dancer, so I have a like a strong DPS class. And then my old character is a warlock, and they're of course ranged. 
then now my uh, next ult is going to be uh, like a tank, you know, class. So when I make old characters, I like them to be unique like that because if I'm leveling a class that's the same as the other ones in terms of like what they do, then I get kind of bored, I would say. So I like having kind of a variation. So if I get bored of playing like a high DPS um, class like Blade Dancer, I can switch to like, you know, a tank class. So. I kind of like that whole thing. This is how I make my old characters, personally. And let's see. Ah, 11 AP. <laughs> Big damage. I haven't seen 11 AP on a character in a long time, I'll say that for sure. Such low AP. Yeah, there's, there's some players. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think that's a high level, I'm pretty sure. Yep, high level. Haven't been in the starting zone for a pretty long time, I would say. Alright. Level it up again. So, oh, that's interesting. So this is my first character uh, remaking with the whole new uh, way they made the um, the upgrade paths for the weapons. Because before you used to have the Han Moon weapon, and you would just keep upgrading it. But now you just use the storyline weapons. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how that works now. Because I'm so used to the original way. Yeah, like they don't even give the weapon anymore. They used to give the Han Moon weapon. It's kind of weird. Got some pouches, so I'll get some more inventory space. But yeah, this is my first time playing, so with the new uh, weapon path, so I'm so used to having the struggle of having to upgrade your Han Moon weapon every time, and now it's so easy now where you just get the storyline weapon and don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about upgrading until like level 50, so super easy now. And I understand why they did it because it was kind of a lot of people were already put off from that and. They probably wanted to bring in a lot of new players, so made it kind of easier. Um, I don't really blame them. So, let's see on the map. We gotta go down there. Uh, these, are, these are actually like the only side quests I do, just because I remember them. They're really easy. Um, I'm pretty sure you just like do something really quick. But, um, yeah. But level 7 now. Slowly, slowly getting... Slowly gain up there. Fortress cover slides. Huh. Got a lot of abilities to check out. And now we're on the beach. So, I think I'll stop this uh, episode here because it's getting kind of long. Uh, if you guys enjoy, let me know. Maybe I'll do more. If you don't enjoy, I probably won't, but. Yeah, if you guys like this video, I'll probably uh, do some more Kung Fu Master leveling. Just a new class, uh, chill video, just having some fun. So let me know if you guys like it, and I'll see you.